Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton are both keen to rekindle their friendship and put the royal rift behind them, a body language expert has suggested. The eyes of the nation were on the prince's wives when they greeted each other at Westminster Abbey for a Commonwealth Day service attended by the Queen and other members of the royal family. The Duchess's public meeting comes after months of reports of a feud between the pair and, according to body language expert Judy James, both seem keen to move forward with a clean slate. They greeted each other with an air kiss and chatted cordially as they waited with Prince William and Prince Harry for the service to start. Judy James said, It was clear Kate and Meghan were keen to signal bonds of warm friendship today, rather than either distant or over congruent displays from the last couple of outings. Ms. James was referring to the Royals' Christmas Day church at the Queen's Sandringham Estate in Norfolk. It was the first time Meghan, 37, and Kate, also 37, were seen together after a royal source revealed the Duchess of Cambridge was left in tears at a dress fitting for bridesmaid Princess Charlotte. The report said Kate cried over the strict demands of her future sister-in-law in the run-up to her May wedding to Prince Harry. And it came as other claims suggested palace aides were having a hard time dealing with Meghan's diva attitude. Ms. James told the son the display of friendship by Kate and Meghan at Christmas looked performed and both were gesticulating in an over-congruent way in an effort to show they are on good terms. But the relationship seems to have taken a turn for the better as the Duchess of Sussex, who is due to give birth to her first child at the end of April, beamed as she greeted Kate as the couples took their places for the service on Monday. Ms. James said Meghan seemed to be the one trying to reignite that spark with her animated body language and wide smile while Kate appeared to make active moves towards her sister-in-law. Both women chose Commonwealth-themed outfits to celebrate the day, with Kate opting for a red Catherine Walker coat and matching dress, recycled from her royal tour of New Zealand. Earlier in the day, Meghan, 37, donned an emerald green dress and coat when she made an appearance at Canada House to celebrate the diverse community of Canadians living around the UK. Meghan, who lived in Toronto while starring in Suits, was joined by Harry, 34, at the event where they met young Canadians working in fashion, business, academia and the arts. The Queen who was accompanied by her son Prince Andrew wore a vibrant purple matching coat and dress. In her message to mark the day, the Queen praised how millions of people living in the family of 53 nations are drawn together by the set of values shared by the institution. The monarch dedicated herself to the Commonwealth on her 21st birthday in 1947.